We have not narrowed our mind to the fact that it may be one. And wherever the uh, circumstances uh, indicate the need to look for more than one, we are. Don Louise Basin was murdered April 15, 1969. She was found on a desolate road April 16, early in the morning lying north of Vreeland Road on the embankment of Gill Road on the right side. She was just 13 years old. No one was ever convicted of her murder. No trial. Nothing. Sheriff Douglas Harvey was the first on the site when the body was discovered. This is a view from 1969 and what it looks like today. Problem ...between the police officers on this assignment. And any newsman that attempts to read such a problem into it is something of his own making. And I want to make that real clear at this time so there's no misunderstanding. The police officers can work together and get along. And I would appreciate it if the newsmen would try to leave it that way and not try to create dissension, because it is not here. On April 15th, Dawn was dropped off at Depot Town to meet a friend. She stayed with him and some other people she knew for about an hour. They walked behind the old train depot, long since shut down, then up the tracks to the Michigan Ladder Factory. She went from there alone until she saw some friends at the footbridge over the Huron River where they were fishing. At this time, dusk was approaching. They talked for five minutes and Dawn asked if they would walk her home. They declined. It was getting dark. When asked by police, the boy said that Dawn didn't act afraid so they didn't think anything of saying no. She was last seen at the brief 40-foot shortcut that leads from the Penn Central tracks on Railroad Street, running parallel to the side of the tracks. A train was due. The Wolverine, one of the last running passenger trains, arrived on time at 7.25 p.m. A 31-year-old railroad buff living nearby was waiting to time the train's arrival. While standing on a knoll alongside the tracks, he saw Dawn rush past him. He last saw her approaching the old Riverside building. The cook on the train said he saw Dawn walking down the railroad street around 7.35 p.m. when the train pulled out on schedule. Here at this section of the tracks is LaForge Road where Dawn would turn right and head to her house 150 yards away. The sun had set at 7.15 that evening, so it was already dark. The apartments in the distance were not there in 1969. What was there was the Michigan Ladder Factory, municipal buildings, and a short train track for freight unloading that veered off to the north. Something happened here that will never be known, other than she was attacked, forced, and abducted. Why is it so hard to correct myth? In spite of facts, crimes can be committed and no one can be charged or held accountable. In the case of Dawn Basom, who was murdered over 54 years ago, the case has never been cleared. No one has ever been arrested and no one has ever been sent to jail. 
However, if you Google her name, you would quickly see that she is considered to be one of the victims of the 1960s co-ed murderer, John Norman Collins. Do we really know that? Is it true? Or do we just think that because she is always listed as a Collins murder victim? That is the question True Crime Incorporated is asking. We ask that, and why is it so hard to correct myth? 